So today I've got something a little bit special for you. I'm actually on holiday. We've been in Guatemala for maybe about two weeks now. And obviously the first thing I packed was my gymnastics ring. So today we're going through a gymnastics rings only pull workout just because <laughs> that's the only piece of equipment I have around me. I think that's pretty much what calisthenics is all about, right? Just using your body weight to really push yourself in ways that are a little bit more creative than just picking up a dumbbell. So that's what we're going to be going through today. It's going to be a quick one because I'm on holiday and I plan to eat a lot of food and not spend all of it training for a change. So without further ado, let's just dive straight into the workout. Definitely trained in far worse places than this. I think with the front lever pulls, these are something I've really struggled with, even when I only used to do the tuck front lever raise. What's happening now is that I can kind of get into a sort of pipe straddle. So you'll see that that line isn't exactly straight. But what I'm going to work on is trying to get that straight. And rather than drop like a stone, actually controlling that lower glitch, you'll probably notice I get somewhere around halfway and I literally just lump it to the floor. Over time, I'm hoping that this will turn into some sort of control, but we can only work with the stroke that we've got now. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So following these up with some tuck front lever rows, these are absolutely amazing. Ever since I started doing them, really, I, I still do bodyweight rows, but they just feel so different. That pulling to the waist in that downward rotation of the scapula is a deceptively challenging move and I think when it comes to it anything skill specific that you can do for long periods of time just where it has silly carryover maybe I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit but maybe one day my dream will be to be able to do a front lever pull up a full front lever pull up I'm not sure whether that will one day be within my gift but all I can do is try it right but front lever rolls was the next exercise and I'll jump straight into the next set You can never go wrong with pull-ups. What I'm trying to do with these is maintain that hollow position. So you'll see my legs slightly come forward. That hollow position is just slightly harder to maintain when you've got your head actually going through the grips that you have with your hand. Obviously with the bar, you'd pull around the bar with rings, you kind of just, your head goes through and you actually end up in a bit of a bicep grip, which is, you know, I, I don't mind it. It's just one of those things where I'll get a little bit more bicep conditioning than I'm used to because I don't typically do chin ups. You guys will know that I prefer bodyweight bicep curls or just the dumbbell bicep curl variation. But pull ups are a classic for a reason and they translate so well to the front lever. So wrap up the session with some hanging leg raises and some face pulls. Again, with hanging leg raises, another exercise that you really can't go wrong with. And face pulls. Whenever I do anything that externally rotates the shoulder, whenever I specifically spend a lot of time focusing on that, I find my strength goes through the I feel lighter. And I genuinely think it's because I'm number one, balancing the shoulder out. A lot of the work that we do in calisthenics is internally rotating the shoulder, getting the chest, getting the anterior delts all fired up with those overhead pushing movements and those forward pushing movements and those rolls. When it comes to externally rotating the shoulders, so horizontal pulling or specific handstand work like the tuck handstand or, or the, even the chest wall handstand, anything that opens out the shoulder, I just feel so much lighter. And I think it's because the shoulder is more balanced and because I'm not fighting against the mobility of my shoulders. My shoulders are naturally really inflexible, like the rest of me really. And by not having to fight against my shoulders, just find my, my, my typical workouts just end up feeling so much lighter. And 
this is something that you just can't if, if you find a hack that allows you to do this seriously spend time working on it because it's probably exposing a weakness that you have this is certainly a weakness of mine face pulls cuban rotations ytw's prone stick raises where you raise the stick over the floor anything to really get that shoulder opening and firing up properly because calisthenics is all about the shoulders it's really not about the core but that is the workout done So workout done, I am going to head into there because you will never ever catch me jump into a bucket of ice. That, that's, I know something that's quite big within the fitness industry at the moment, but ice barrel bucket things is something you'll never, ever, ever find me doing. My African ancestors just wouldn't slide for that. But before I jump away, one question I want to have for you is what are you guys working on? It's still early in the year. I want to know what your goals are. What sort of things are you pushing towards? What exercise are you struggling with at the moment? Do you want to see anything more from this channel in 2024? Let me know down in the comment section below and crowd. I'll see you in the next one.